Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. Today I'm going to record a short session because my kids are not going to be gone for that long. So, um, although my husband said that he's going to try to keep them a little occupied when they get back. So, I'll do as much as I can. Hmm. What I did. I'm like all over the place today. Alright. Much like I am, I think, every day. <laughs> Give it some time. Oh, see, I almost started the wrong color. I need the double sided arrows. So. There's nothing really, um, like not much really going on right now. Um, we actually had uh, pest control come yesterday, so we had to leave and go hang out with my sister. And while I was at my sister's house, um, the neighbor came and knocked on the door to ask if um, their cars had been broken into. So, um, my sister has like a doorbell camera and an outdoor camera thing, and so um, she told her neighbor, like, Yeah, I'll review the video for you and I'll let you know, you know, like what's going on from there. And so, my sister was reviewing her camera, and she's got two, like I said, she's got two cameras outside. So she's got the doorbell camera, which will pick up motion sensor and, like, ringing of the doorbell. And also, she has also, um... She also has a camera on the side that points out to the front where they sometimes park their cars or their roommates park their cars or, you know, anyone who comes to visit where they park on the street. So, um, we were reviewing the camera and found out that they did try to break into their cars or something for their garage maybe um but it shows it shows because the the neighbor's truck got stolen so um so it shows the car drive up the street and then well first it shows this girl running up between my sister my sister's cars like b between their cars they have a truck and a car that are parked in their driveway and it shows a, a female running up the center of their cars and going to the back like they were like checking a garage or something or a fence or I don't know what they were doing <clears throat> so then she goes off camera for a little while and then it shows her go around the other side of the of the car which is on the doorbell side and then it shows her and another female walk out and then um it also shows another person a third person um, walking, they walk across the yard and go to the neighbor's house on the other side. 
And so, so then the car, while the girl is running up the driveway, the car comes up to my sister's house, like past the driveway, but up to my sister's house, stops there for a few minutes, um, because it's like a group thing that they're doing, they're, they're hitting people's houses in groups, I guess, and so, um, they're looking for cars that are unlocked, or, or, you know, things that are easily accessible, I'm guessing, um, so, um, then, the car follows the two, the two kids, the, or, or the three kids that, because they're, like, young, they look like they're maybe, like, 16, 17, maybe, they don't look very old, so, um, so it shows them run off the screen or whatever and then the car sits there for a few minutes and then the car um, starts heading up the street again and then at the end of the street the car u-turned and then came back down the street as it started to come back down the street it turned off its headlights um for some reason and then it went down to the other end of the street where the neighbor lives and there and it waited until they got the truck started and then the truck came barreling down the street past my sister's house and then the car you turned again and um came up the street and then i think my sister said that it came back for a third time after that she thinks so and then in the meantime of that there was actually a truck that went by that I thought might have also gotten stolen at the same time because it kind of looked like it, it was like either involved or it was getting stolen or or they drive awfully fast because it was like kind of driving fast down the road but it's just kind of sad these make me sad because you know people earn money and work and then you know these people come along and break into their like so a few months ago uh, I think it was in April uh, my nephew forgot to lock up his car and they broke into his car then they didn't take anything though they just like ransacked it went through everything so if there wasn't any electronics or you know anything worth taking in there really like there were some tools and stuff but they not anything special so they just like I mean they didn't even try to take the stereo I don't know what 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 thieves are doing these days but they used to steal radios in my way back when you know I've actually had um, stereo stolen out of out of um, our cars when I was younger so but I don't know it just it's like really sad to me but I mean these these people are awfully brazen too because they stayed on the street for a really long time and um it just it, it's crazy to me how how things like this happen and like and the cops they're just like yeah whatever you can report it you can report it online or we can 
maybe send someone out in a few days. <laughs> oh my god. Whatever phone that was just scared to live in. But Jesus out of me, you guys. I'm home alone. And she says, I didn't quite follow that. Oh my god. I just like jumped out of my skin. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Whew. Like I'm home by myself. Who's talking? So it like rained today and I thought I, th I got a little worried because I looked outside and it like was raining so hard. This is this is like our first pretty much our first year. Like we've we've been here a little over a year now in Colorado. Um so we're still getting used to what the weather's like here. And they call it bipolarado because um, you know, one minute it's raining, the next minute it's snowing, the next minute it's, it's sunny out. Um, uh, or it could be lightning, thunder, hail, like, tornado warnings, like, <laughs> the, the weather is pretty crazy out here. It's like, my sister says, she thinks that, it's like, there's only two seasons. <laughs> there's winter and summer. The summer we still get. Um, rain, we don't get snow, but we still get rain, um, and, you know, like, a lot of monsoon storms, so today was our first experience, really, with it, because, um, I mean, we've had, li like, thunder lightning quite often, it, I mean, it happens quite often, but, um, usually it doesn't rain so bad that it, like, starts to flood, so, at least not since we've been here, but, um, uh, I was, like, a little worried that the, that it was going to come into our front door, because it filled up our, like, there's, like, a little rock bed thing, you know, like, a garden area thing outside of our door, and it has, like, not directly outside, but around the corner of outside of our door, and the rock bed filled up in probably like a minute and then it um it started to like drown the sidewalk so the sidewalk was underwater at that point and it's all draining draining down into the parking lot which is getting full so i mean it was pretty crazy how fast it filled up with water, like with rain, rain water, because it, it seemed like, you know, in California, it did, it did flood a little bit, like, I used to live in an area called Rio Linda, um, and it's, um, it's like a suburb of Sacramento, and when I was in high school and stuff, like, it would flood really bad. Um, anytime it rained too much, the creek was called Dry Creek, but it wasn't very dry when it, when, um, it would rain too much. So, um, the, the creek would come over the, the, um, embankment and it would flood everywhere. Like, I remember one time... I was at school when it flooded and uh, where I lived, where I lived it wasn't really flooded but I had to walk through the flood area in order to get to my house so I remember walking in like knee deep water trying to get um, to this, to the street I lived on, but I had it, because no one could come pick me up in a car, because it was really deep, um, really deep and flooded, so, um, and then, also, there was another time, and I had to walk home in that, and then there was another time 
that it flooded really bad and my mom's husband had to come pick us up and he had to use his truck to basically back into the apartment, like back onto the apartment complex's lawn and like we would like come down from the stairs and like jump in the bed of his truck in order for us to get to, um, because we had to get to an area that, where we could climb into the actual cab of the truck because it was like, we couldn't walk all the way down the stairs. Um, otherwise we would have been in like hip deep water. So it was just crazy. Um, and we didn't want to be stranded there because we didn't know how long it would be flooded for or any of that stuff. So, but it was, it was pretty crazy. So, I mean, I lived in a flood zone, so I know I don't want to, I know I don't want to have to deal with my apartment flooding. So, I was worried that because the way the porch is, I was worried that it was going to come up onto the porch and into our front door because our front door is about the same level as the sidewalk. It's a little bit higher, but not, not by much. So thankfully it didn't rain much longer than that, like five minute span, like it stopped stopped raining so thankfully because otherwise we probably would have been flooded and the wind was like blowing a little bit so when I opened the front door to look out to see what all of the noise was um yeah I was just like wow it's all blowing into the house it was blowing in enough that my husband had to clean it up with a towel. So I'm just thankful that um, we didn't get flooded. Our carpets and stuff were all good because I I don't like water damage and stuff like that to my carpets. I mean, there was one time that um i think i was like 15 or 16 and um i was home by myself um because my mom uh, my mom at the time she was working as a um as a motel manager so sometimes she would have to stay on property uh, on the motel property because she was just like, she was supposed to be temporarily filling in. Um, uh, because their manager had left and like moved to Texas or something like that. And so, um, so she would have to sometimes temporarily stay there for a day or two. So I was home and I think I was... I think I had just got done eating dinner or something and I was rinsing my my plate and putting it in the sink and all of a sudden the pipe under the sink burst like and water started pouring out and like spraying not just like pouring but spraying everywhere so I opened the bottom of the sink and I couldn't even see under there because it was spraying me in the face so much and like it, it the the floor was filling up with water so fast and so I call my mom and I'm like panicked I'm like what do I do I can't find the 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 valve and she's like there's a valve under there um pull the valve and turn off the water and I said I can't I can't find it and I'm like sitting down in front of the sink trying to feel with my hands around the 
um, around all the pipes and stuff. And I'm like, I can't find it. What do I do? And so she's like, call maintenance um, because, you know, because I couldn't find it. So I had to find the emergency maintenance number. Oh my God. By the time they were able to shut off the water, like they had a lot of, um, they had a lot of stuff to clean up. Like thankfully they had like a shop bag that would suck out all of the water, but I mean the carpet in the hallway, uh, because the way our room was set up, one, one, one room was on one end of the hallway and the other room was on the, another end of the hallway. So the entire hallway carpet was soaking wet, like super bad. They had to get a couple of those air conditioning things, blower things, and pull up all of the carpet and blow underneath it with the blowers and it was a mess like because I, I and I think I don't I never did find the lever so um I don't know if the lever broke on it or what but um, I don't really remember that that far back but I do remember how like there was like two inches of water in there like it it was really bad. So, um, and you know, I've never, I've never personally had like my place flood. Um, you know, I just, we always lived in a, in a, in a place that was high higher than flood zone um i mean it flooded all around my house in rio linda but it never flooded on the actual street i lived on um so you know we got to, to miss school and stuff for that like almost every other year like and i don't even know if they've fixed the problem i know that a lot of the houses that were on like a certain street they ended up um, buying them from from the people that lived on the street so that they could tear them all down and um you know make the the flood zone less populated uh, because they try to make the creek higher but i don't think they were very successful at it and I don't know like for a while California had a lot of levee breaks and all kinds of crazy stuff um, wild we weather happenings and so I don't really hear about it flooding too much anymore out that way but you know um, I'm sure it still does but I don't live out there anymore, so I don't really, I don't really follow the area since I don't live in the area anymore. And I graduated high school, so I didn't have a reason to to stay in that area. So, but yeah, it was it was really crazy. Um, sometimes. The weather. And so the weather gets pretty crazy here too. Um, my husband and I don't care for the snow that much. We don't like to drive in it. I've gotten stuck in it. I had to have some people help me dig my car out just taking my son to school. So it was kind of crappy because we were, we were, um, well, I was going to pull into the driveway, but of the school to go on the roundabout, 
And there's two, there's, there's enough space for two cars going one each way, but only one side was cleared. So I thought that if I went fast enough, I would be able to clear it and I got stuck and then I couldn't back up either. So people had to, um, dig me out. I think it took like four people to dig me out, uh, because I kept getting stuck, so I don't, I don't like the snow that much, but, um, yeah, I know why, I, I still wonder why I moved to the state of Colorado. <laughs> well, I know why I moved here because my sister is my closest family now that my mom has passed and, um, you know, I don't really, um, talk to my brothers that much, so. I'm closest with my sister, and so I moved here to be closer to my sister, but I also moved away from my older son, so it makes me sad that he's out there, but I mean, even if we were out there, he probably still wouldn't be visiting that much, so, um, because that's just how he is. He's got his own life. and But now with COVID, he's like, I'm not flying until COVID is gone. So it kind of sucks for us because we didn't get to see him um, for his graduation. And I mean, not that they did much of anything, but... I'm just bummed out. Like, I miss him so much, and, um, I wish we were closer, but, but we're not, so, it is what it is. There's not much I can do. I mean, I, I message him often, and, he gets back to me when he gets back to me, so, but, wow, that scream was not from my apartment, <laughs> kids upstairs must be fighting again, they kind of fight a lot, I don't know how many kids they have, but they have a few. So, um, I have some, oh, I have some, I bought some of that, um, museum wax, so I'm going to be testing that out on my channel soon, um, and I also got a square ruler, um, so I want to test that out as well. I'm kind of excited. I really want to try it. I hope it works because I think I do a, a pretty decent job at keeping them straight, but sometimes it's not easy. And if anybody else is a perfectionist um, like me, then you'll probably understand why I'm like, oh, I want it to be perfect. But, you know, it's kind of funny because... Most of the time I can get the, um, the circular ones to line up, um, pretty straight without having to sh use the straightener side. So I can kind of eyeball that without, without any issues, but it's like, I don't know what it is about squares, but I have a harder time lining up the squares. So... Kinda curious where my husband is, considering that he's only going to my sister's house, which is like a mile away. 
But I'm thinking, what is taking so long to get back here? So... Maybe my sister's talking his ear off. <laughs> um, so my sister said that she's going to help me out with... Um, she's going to take the kids and help me with schooling stuff so that... Because my kids love her like so much and they love to learn from her. Especially my younger one who... He'll... He will mimic some of the stuff I do, but he mimics everything she does. So, um, so she decided that she would help since he's really adjusting to her and really, like, like wanting to learn everything she's putting out. She decided that she's going to, um, like make her basement like a school area so that she can take him and teach him um, things. Uh, she's going to teach my five-year-old all the kindergarten stuff and she's going to reinforce some of the other stuff for um, my three-year-old as well. Um, but she's like decided to set up like, a, in a, like in a school area so that when they're over there, they're actually learning stuff. Um, instead of just playing or watching movies or whatever. Because a, a lot of it, when she has them, my five-year-old is watching, watching movies. And my three-year-old is, like, learning everything he can from her. Um... I mean, she has a, a good way of getting them to respond to her, so it's always nice. Because for me, I struggle. He just, he does not want to, to do it. And so it'll help out a lot too if she's going to help with school stuff. And that way, um... It will be like he's getting a full day on some days. Come on, you guys. Good lord. Stop knocking on the wall. <laughs> I'm trying to video here. So, so she had them over to test to see how well they would be able to... Um, sit at the table she bought for them and stuff like that so I mean I think it's really cool and then um, one of the um, one of the resources that um, that one of our um, so we have a few different companies that have resources that, that tell us about resources and stuff and um, the company that was doing uh, my son's early intervention, they do things, they, they, their whole job is to find funding for families that need, need funding for different things. So. Um, one of the things that she had is like um, self care. So um, she's like, we can get you funds to pay somebody to take your kids, you know, like for a few hours once a month or something like that. So you can, you know, have a break to go do. Um, you know, grocery shopping by yourself or, you know, do anything by yourself, you know, whereas, um, moving on to number seven, whereas, um, I have to like take the kids everywhere or, well, I don't personally right now because of the whole COVID thing, but 
my husband does all that, but she's like, well then, you know, like maybe you guys, you and your husband can have a date night. So they're, they're, they're going to give me funds to have a date night. And they, and I'm like, are you serious? And they're like, yeah, like it's like self care. So, um, you know, like it's healthy to do, to have like a date night or do things, you know, every now and then and not have your kids, you know, 24 seven. So I was like, well, I'll check with my sister because she's the only one I trust to take care of my kids. And she's the only one I know out here. So, um, but I was like, check with my sister and see what she says. And my sister's like, okay. <laughs> so and then I told her, well, you could teach the kids schooling stuff, you know, and get paid for it. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know if these resource things are everywhere or not, but it was, it was kind of nice. And, and their whole, whole job is to find resources. So if like, if I, um, you know, got a bill for speech therapy or something like that, then they would help me find income to pay it, which I thought was nice. Like, that's pretty cool. Stuff like that. So, because both of my kids um, have gone through early intervention. Um, and then they both have IEPs. Well, all three of my children have IEPs have IEPs. My my teen, um, 18 year old has like an atten attention thing. He gets um, distracted pretty easily. So plus he's lazy. <laughs> so uh, and then so you know it's it's been nice to have people to be able to help with my children considering that you know I like I've had a lot of come on stop it stop I've had a lot of issues they both they both are kind of the same way. Um, they both didn't want to mimic. So. But my, my five-year-old was talking a lot more than my, my three-year-old at the same age so he he's my three-year-old a lot further behind than what his brother was at the same age so And on Monday, they're supposed to come, um, a speech therapist is supposed to come and do an evaluation on both kids and start their speech. So they're going to get new therapists since they're both 
beyond the early intervention ages. So. I was lucky enough to find another agency that comes to my home, which is nice, because a lot of the times, you know, like they don't, they don't do that. After three, so they, but I was able to find some of them. Um, and since they both need the same therapies, like, I'm hoping that it will be able to do the both, you know, like back to back. Yeah, so my my package will be here on Saturday, so I might have an unboxing for you on Tuesday, I think, maybe? I think it might be on Tuesday. Maybe before that, I don't know. Um, and then I'll be able to do like a a review of what I think of it um, because you guys know I have tried different things I haven't shown the different things I've tried but I really have tried multiple different things for waxes so I've used pink wax I've used orthodontics wax I've tried that I tried green poop tack <laughs> I call it poop tack um, because it leaves boogers all over <laughs> all over your uh, canvases or all over your drills or what whatever um, I have used I've tried I tried to put some tack glue in the tip but uh, it didn't work. It like the dr the glue wouldn't dry. Um, I've tried. Let's see what else have I tried? I tried. I've tried multiple multiple pink waxes. Um, and so far, I really only like the Diamond Art Club pink wax that I got. Um, but with the rain rainbow rose. I've tried the pink wax though um, from the other trial kits that I got and I didn't like it as much. So I don't know if maybe the rainbow rose one is older, newer, don't know. Just know that it's um, the better, better of all the pink waxes I've tried. I've not tried um, mud or whatever they call it. Um, I have not tried patty wax. Uh, but I read I read good reviews about the um, the museum wax so I decided I want to try that. It's really expensive so I really hope that it works and if it doesn't I really don't know what I'm going to do with it because I don't have anything that I need to stick to furniture. So, so I'm like, I, I can't imagine what I would do with, do with it, you know, if I don't use it. And I don't know if, I bought it off of Amazon. I don't know if it, what the return policy is on it. I don't, I didn't check. So, and I didn't notice one way or another. So... And I'm want, I want to find a diamond painting to do for drills and shells um, because um, 
there there are a bunch of um, a bunch of creators out there that are participating in drills and chills and what that is is it you do like a, a fall slash Halloween type of painting and it's I guess it starts with September 1st so um, you start off by posting a picture of a clean canvas where there's no drills on it um, you take your picture and then you tag um, I'll put the tag up but it's um, hashtag drills and chills 2020 I think it is so I participated in it, in it a little bit last year but I really didn't know what was going on I just happened to see um, what um, what was happening or whatever but then I, I ended up having to move and then we were homeless so I don't even remember what I was working on for the drills and chills I think it was like a fall time theme tree. I think it was the rainbow, rainbow trees. But okay, thank God. My kids are home. I was beginning to get really worried because it's taking him so long to get home. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'm going to continue my time lapse. Bye guys.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.